Jason Mason with the Beverly Athletic Club. Today I'm going to go over a couple different ways you can load your bar for proper deadlifting. So what we have here is our rack is a little bit low. I also have a 45 pound bar. There are other types of bars. There's a training bar which would be approximately 15 pounds as well as the women's Olympic bar which would be 25. For today's purposes we have the 45 pound bar. So what we're going to do is just come right back here. We're going to grab one of the 45 pound plates. This is the ideal size. We have bumper plates that are 10 and uh, 10, 25. They also have 15s that you can use. So here I'm going to grab the 45 and the 25. Then we're going to clip it off with a nice little collar here, making sure that it stays on nice and secure. With the proper setup, that is how you would load the bar for deadlifting. And just on a side note, uh, we want to try to stay away from overloading one side and not the other just to prevent the bar from tipping and causing any injury. If you don't have the proper setup, we're going to put a smaller plate on the floor. So in this case, it's a 25 pound. I'm going to start with one large. So this one shouldn't be as bad. We're going to grab the bar, we're going to lift up, and we're going to slide it on. Now what happens is, as we try to get the next 45, 25, whatever weight you're going to put on, it gets a little heavier to lift the bar. So what we're going to do is actually roll it right up onto this 25 pound plate here. So in this case, get it so that it stays. Now that gives us about an inch, inch and a half up off the floor. Now we can grab our other large plate, 45 pound, or if you're using the 10 or the 25 for bumper plates, it gives us the room to easily slide it right in. So that is two different ways that you can load your bar for deadlifting if you don't have a deadlifting jack. Thanks for watching.